Sarah Silverman's brush with death, an exciting new look for Iron Man and celebrity baby bumps are all in today's Entertainment City. But first, meet the Wilsons. Sierra and her NFL quarterback beau, Russell Wilson, are officially husband and wife after exchanging vows in Cheshire, England yesterday. Both confirmed their nuptials on social media, each sharing this beautiful shot from their big day. The super secret ceremony took place in front of family and friends at Peckforton Castle. And fittingly, the blushing bride wore a dress fit for royalty, a custom Cavalli couture gown with delicate glass beading and Chantilly lace applique. Wilson looked dapper in custom Armani. As for the eight bridesmaids, including Kelly Rowland and Lala Anthony, each wore custom black satin dresses with matching lace chokers. Word is, Sierra's pal, tennis star Serena Williams was supposed to be part of the bridal party as well, but had to back out because of her Wimbledon semifinals match. The Grammy winner and Seattle Seahawks player got engaged in March. After about a year of dating, they've made headlines for their vow to remain celibate until marriage. Despite her current wedded bliss, Sierra is still dealing with a lawsuit against her ex future, with whom she shares a two-year-old son. She's suing the rapper for defamation for criticizing her parenting skills and her relationship with Wilson. Sarah Silverman says she is, quote, insanely lucky to be alive after contracting a life-threatening bacterial infection that left her hospitalized last week. The comedian took to Facebook to share her health scare, revealing she'd gone to the doctor for what she thought was just a sore throat. Instead, she was diagnosed with epiglottitis, a rare condition that can block air to the lungs. Silverman says she was in ICU for five days, and when she woke up, she, quote, didn't remember anything. In the post, she thanks everyone at the hospital for her life. The 45-year-old also praises her boyfriend actor Michael Sheen, calling him her, quote, real-life hero. Tony Stark. I build neat stuff and occasionally save the world. Move over, Iron Man. Marvel has just revealed that a new character will be taking over for Tony Stark, but she might want to pick a different name. Riri Williams is described as a 15-year-old African-American girl who will become the next iteration of the armored superhero, in the comic books at least. The switch will happen at the end of the current Civil War II miniseries. Riri is depicted as a science genius who builds her own Iron Man suit in her dorm at MIT, the move is Marvel's latest step towards a more diverse cast of characters. One of our takeaways from the onslaught of social media posts from Taylor Swift's star-studded 4th of July weekend bash, besides the fact that matching outfits are required and she and Tom Hiddleston are so in love, is that Blake Lively is rocking her baby bump. The actress is just one of many in a stellar cast of current Hollywood moms-to-be. And hello this week, we have eight beautiful stars who are expecting. Also, we get to see their amazing maternity fashion. Blake Lively, in particular, has hit it out of the park this time around. We've seen her on the red carpet in Cannes. She really knows how to dress that bump. Blake and Ryan Reynolds were very secretive with their first baby, James. We'd expect them to take a similar approach with baby number two. Blake has said, actually, that she and Ryan want to raise their children out of the glare of the Hollywood spotlight. So maybe they'll be raising their family in BC, which is where Ryan is from, and they'll be good Canadian kids. Get the full scoop in this week's issue of Hello on newsstands and your texture app now. He shot to fame as one half of the dance music phenomenon LMFAO. Now, Red Foo is back with his debut solo album, Party Rock Mansion. TK caught up with the Trailblazer. Party Rock Mansion, what can your fans expect from this? Uh, they can expect, you know, a more personal side of Red Foo. You are a man that wears many hats, like producer, songwriter, DJ, uh, fashion guy, <laughs> yeah. app developer. Like, So now, I guess that's one of the things that you've learned now throughout the years, is yeah. that you have to tap into everything. You have to tap into everything. Uh, you, you can't just make music and say, you know, I want to get paid for making, you know, doing what I love. You have to be an expert at the industry. Part of that includes touring. Red Foo is up for it. He's currently on a tour across Canada, which goes on until the end of August. We got some bacon and some elk stew. Who knew the culinary arts could make for such an adventure? Well, with celebrity chef Maddie Matheson, anything is possible. See just how true that is when his new show, Dead Set on Life, premieres on Viceland tonight. Love that guy. As always, get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at NCity.